Okay, I'm going to try this. This is Sheila Walk, and I'm sitting with my um, iPad Pro. Here's my pencil, my computer pencil, and here's my hand. And this is one of the images I did for one of my coloring books coming up. It's called The Incubator, and it's a little fairy that's being birthed in the seed. But what I want to do and show you is how I did this. So what I'm going to do is click in the iPad Pro. I don't think you, you won't be able to see it, but I'm going to do it. It's called a time lapse. Here we go. Now, I did my images with my research of the seed and the fairy and the little red seed. But what you're about to see is me drawing it in my iPad Pro. Uh, I use a, a wonderful, wonderful app called Procreate. And when you have iRes images and you have it in an outside source like Dropbox or someplace, you can bring it in into your app, into your iPad Pro, and trace it um, for your coloring books. I love sharing how I get things done so you can learn how to do it too. Um, there's no secrets to art. It's grabbing onto somebody else's you know, thoughts and, and their technique, not copying what they do, but learn from what they do. So here I'm just going to enlarge. I figured I'd do this. I'm holding my iPhone because I want my, my uh, voice to be recorded to show you what I'm doing. So I'm just stretching, and what happens is um, I, I um, lightened up what the image was so I could see the lines I'm drawing. I'm going to go a little closer so you can see. And I keep going on and off to the background and then I to see where the lines are coming up and then I check it out and then I keep drawing. You can see I'm drawing around here, right here. <laughs> I'm trying to point, look at the screen, look at the iPhone. Um, but you get the idea. Okay, the reason I, I hired in the beginning a couple student artists that were wonderful. Their lines were perfect, except for one thing. I wasn't looking for perfect lines. I'm looking for contour. And then I realized, Sheila, come on. You're going to have to devote some time to this co these coloring books because I'm a quality person and get into the contour lines. Many other artists do. But I'm, I'm redoing all the paintings I've done in my past. So... My coloring books will be more limited because I'm not doing just for the sake of coloring books. I'm doing it to get my paintings so you can color my paintings that I've done. Isn't this fun? Let me enlarge and see where I'm going here. I'm over here. <laughs> anyway, so this might work and you might find it, some of you, entertaining. But others, you get the gist of how you can do it yourself if you're into doing coloring books. But don't copy other people's work. I'm just doing this showing you what I'm doing of my own artwork. But this way you can do your own. You know, um, there's a thing called copyright infringement and you don't want to be, you know, a person like that at all. <laughs> um, okay, so it's coming along. This, this um, little replay is in the app itself. And what it does is in um, the iPad Pro and also this app, it has a memory of everything that you're doing. So um, you can do an instant replay, a shortcut, and you can do a long version too of the many days and days you've worked on it. This is the shortcut one. But now I'm getting into the detail work. Let me enlarge this of the baby. I want her little wings to be cute, but I can't, I don't know exactly where to put in all the contour until I did the outer shell first. And you can see I also did the contour lines there too. So now I'm getting into the baby's hair, baby's face, I'm checking it out. I'm going to turn that off in a minute while I'm drawing. I'm just checking out. I put my name in the bottom here. It's an overlay. And it's almost done. Um, there's a blue line up here that shows the time element involved on the upper right. <laughs> and then it shows where it's done. But we're almost there. But this is going to be in my a coloring book coming up. 
I got one that's really neat called my, um, <laughs> they're just my fantasy creatures. <laughs> so there I flicked on and off, on and off to see if it all looked good, and it did. And I'm done now, so um, let's give you a close-up of detail. So when you're coloring and you use the coloring pencils, uh, it'll be easier and you do a background. Um, it would be a lot of fun. So let me get out a time lapse for a second. Let me push done and I'm done. And there you're seeing what's underneath and I can go in and get rid of some of the background and show you the initial little design I came up with first. And then I changed it as I went along. Um, See? Uh, fun, right? All right, so let me get this to you guys, and I hope you uh, learned a little bit from me today. And I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.